Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley if you are new and we are going to be planning in my TPC planner for the week of the 18th, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 to the 24th. And so let's just go ahead and jump right in and get started. I have a limited amount of time. If you can hear my dryer running, I apologize, but I want to keep the door open so that I can hear my kiddos in case they need me. And Yes, they're playing in the water right now, and I want to make sure they're good. So I should probably mention that I'm using leftovers from this Exo Mama Plans kit. Um, it's called Sea Life, and I had a bunch of leftovers. I used this in my memory planning kit. Lots and lots of leftovers, so that's what we're going to use, and I'm still going to have lots and lots of leftovers still, and so... That's what we're going to do, and it's going to be lovely. So, I hope that you guys are having a great week. This is Monday for me that I am planning this, and I'm trying to get some videos done. I am behind, and actually I had three videos already filmed, ready to edit, export, and upload to YouTube, and lo and behold, they got deleted. I think I accidentally deleted them. I didn't mean to. It was a complete accident. I mean, of course, I didn't do it on purpose, right? So it sucked, but it's okay. I'm, I'm sucking it up and being a big girl about it. it. I hate when that happens, but it does happen to me ever so often. I mean... It happens, right? There's nothing I can do about it. It's absolutely gone into oblivion at this point, so I can't get it back. And I just have to be a big girl, like I said, suck it up and just continue on, film some more videos, and get going. However, those videos were ones that I really liked. I really enjoyed how things turned out. I was excited to upload them, and then they got deleted. And what's so sad about it is that I knew I was deleting things, but I did not think that that's what I was deleting. And so, yeah. And I even thought to myself, should I be doing this? And I was like, oh no, this is not going to affect anything. It totally did. So, you know, there's that. But let me make sure I have enough of these. I have one, two, three. Okay, I have plenty. Okay. So I am getting things done today. Today is the day to get things done. I have finished a junk journal I have been working on since the beginning of time, it feels like. I actually have another one of that same theme to finish. And whew, I start to get a little bit burnout when I am pushing to complete one and I'm working, working, working on it. I start to get a little bit burnout and then I want to like do something different. So I need kind of a palette cleanser. Oh, that one wasn't cut. I need like a palette cleanser, but I'm trying to decide whether I want to just like go for it and finish the second one because that's really what I want to do. It was the plan at least and that's really what I want to do. That way I don't have to put all of these things away and then drag them back out again. But I have another one I'm in the middle of working on too so I could go to that one and then come back. But you know, I really don't want to do that. Like I said, I really would like to push and just get this one theme accomplished, finished, and done with and move on to something different later but we'll see I don't know what I'll end up doing so I have bunches of washi to use <clears throat> so I'm going to use it and love it and that's what we're going to do for this so I am um, I am probably not going to go in the same order because it's just too much washi to play with and I'll get confused I know I will so I'm not going to I'm not going to put pressure on myself to get the pattern correct but <clears throat> you know, I'm a little bit stressed out because our cat is missing. So she keeps escaping outside. She it does have claws. We do not declaw. And so she is, she has claws. She can defend herself. She's fine. However, she always comes back. Like she likes to climb the neighbor's tree and she likes to hide in our flower beds and she likes to go to the other neighbor like across across the street and go into their tree and hide in the bushes and she doesn't bother anybody they all know but i'm afraid she might have wandered a little bit further this time and she hasn't come home so she escapes and she's crafty so the boys you know they're not the best at like 
especially the smaller like Alaric and Killian sometimes aren't the best at like watching where she is when they open the door and so we have to be on constant guard and she got out yesterday and it was like in the late afternoon and she hasn't come back yet. So I'm a little bit concerned because she's literally never stayed gone this long. She's always come right home. And if she was gone all night, she would be home like meowing at the window the next morning. And she's not home. So I'm a little bit scared. Plus it was raining all day today. So I'm hoping she's just like laying low and she'll be home soon. But y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit worried. So there's that. I am a little bit worried. I just don't understand why she has to constantly be trying to get out and why she can't just stay in and be a normal cat. Okay, I'm like doubling up on these all over the place and I don't care that it's not the same pattern over and over. But I don't just want to have doubles all over the place, like right in a row. So I'm going to change that. But anyways, I'm hoping that she'll come on home. I'm hoping somebody didn't like let her in and just keep her. Because I know that that is a possibility. Um, but, yeah. I don't think she, she like got ran over or anything like that. And, but I just don't know, you guys. I'm worried about my cat, and I know the boys will be sad, and oh, love that stupid cat, and she's a part of the family, so it sucks, but it's really hard to keep her in, and it's so hard to catch her once she gets out. Like, I chase her and catch her, but the problem is, like, we didn't know she was out. Nobody noticed her out, so that means, like, Alaric probably went outside really quick, and she probably went out, and nobody noticed that she was out. He came back inside. Nobody knew, and then we just went to bed, but I noticed that this morning... She hadn't been bothering me during the night when I was getting up with, with Jensen, and she always does. And she didn't wake him up this morning like she usually does. She always does that. And she wasn't meowing for me to pay attention to her and feed her like she always does. And so I was like, okay, something's going on. And then I looked for her everywhere, and she wasn't there. And I looked for her outside. She wasn't outside. And so I was like, okay, this is not good. Where is the cat? And so she's been missing. And I know that we saw her yesterday when we got home from church and everything. And then I didn't notice her at night or today. And she does like to hide sometimes. So at first I didn't really think anything of it. But she's not hiding. She's not in here. So I don't know. That's just not a good thing, you guys. I'm a little bit worried over the cats. And not good. So... Hopefully she'll come home and hopefully she's fine and everything will be okay because I know some very sad boys and it'll make Joshua really sad too because he really likes the cat. I don't, I know this is going to make me sound so terrible of a person, but I don't really get like s sentimentally attached as easy. I mean, I love her. I will shower her with affection, but I, this is going to make me sound so awful. And I'm trying to make it sound like I'm not so insensitive and I'm a little bit better, but it's not working because the more I think of to say, the more terrible it sounds. But I don't get emotionally attached as easily um, as some. I am not a cold hearted person at all. But I don't get as easily attached. Um, I it, it takes a lot for me to get attached. And um, yeah. So I will be very, very sad. But I'm not going to like cry over it. You know what I mean? Like I'm just not a very emotional person. If that makes any sense. Like if that makes me sound like a horrible person. I'm sorry. Because I know that it sounds kind of weird. Especially for a female to say things like that. But I'm just not emotionally moved as easy I guess. Um, it takes a lot for me to 
cry or be like distraught. So I will be sad that she is gone if she doesn't come home. And I will be even more sad because I know that it's going to make my boys sad. Does that make sense? Like I know it's going to upset everybody else so it's going to really upset me because of that. But as for me being upset, um, I'll be sad but I won't be like freaking out about it. If that makes any sense, without me sounding like a horrible, insensitive, terrible person who hates animals, because I don't. I love animals, and I am attached to her, but at the same time, like, what do we do about it? Well, I mean, we will do everything we can do. You know, we'll talk to everybody in the neighborhood. I'll look for their Facebook and post things and see if anybody's seen her, and maybe we can get her back that way. Sometimes that works. I've seen it work a bunch of times with dogs. We've actually found a couple of pe people's dogs around here. So, of course we will do that, but will they give her back? I don't know if someone has her or will she is she with someone and will she come back? I don't I don't know. So, anyways, like I said, she's never been gone this long. She's always come back. And so, I'm just a little bit worried because she's never done this like this before. She used to get out at our old house as well. She is a mastermind at it, but um, she's never been. She'll, she'll always come back. I think one time at our old house she was gone for a little bit of an alarming time. So this might have happened there, but it's never happened here. So I don't want her to have gotten turned around or anything. I don't think she did because she's freaking smart but you never know you know what I mean so I'm just hoping that she's okay and now I've spent entirely too long talking about the cat and defending myself on not being overly sensitive about said cat but just pray our cat comes home because it would be really really sad if she did not and I want sadness I want happiness and I just cut that so freaking crooked, but I don't even care because I don't have my scissors. They have stolen my scissors again, and I'm not, I'm, I'm just not going to be concerned. Okay, so this is lovely already, and yeah, I'm going to put these date dots on here because I used them for the other kit, and um, I have the next dates because this is for the next week, so it works out, and I'm going to try to come up with a firm schedule, okay? That's what I'm going to try to do. Now, I have three YouTube channels. Can I come up with a firm uh, schedule for every channel? I don't know yet because I've tried to do this and that in the past and I fail miserably. It makes me feel like a failure at life and then I get super down and I don't want to film at all or I just want to give up on it or whatever. I don't really want to put that much pressure on myself because you guys, my schedule is not predictable. It's just not. I'm home every day. That's predictable. We have homeschool. That's predictable. But as far as the timing of that schedule, it gets really unpredictable when you have four children sometimes five when Jaren is here, it gets really, really unpredictable. You know, you have kids that aren't feeling well that day. Maybe they're fighting a lot. Maybe they're super loud and you can't film. Maybe there's a lot of maybes, you know what I mean? And so I want to give myself a little bit of leeway because I feel like that's the only way I'm going to be successful at this. <laughs> so this is for sure a plan with me. I always post it on Monday, except for today, because I haven't posted one today, but I am, I am editing one as we speak, and it will be uploaded before the end of the night, so we will be doing that, but as for the rest of them, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to do these on Mondays, Wednesday, no, no, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That's what I'm going to try to do for this one. I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm gonna try, okay? I'm gonna try to do videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Yes, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna try. Then, um, so I'm gonna try to do a clean with me, a laundry video, so like a chat, perhaps. And then something else. I don't know if it'll be like a vlog. That's what I would really like for it to be. 
So I'm just going to put this down. I'm going to put these glasses down. Do they have anything to do with blogging? No, but they're cute. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Like a cleaning video, a laundry update, chat with me video, and a vlog. That's what I'm going to try to do. Do I know that that's going to happen? No, I don't. Can I promise it? Absolutely not. But am I going to try it? Yes, indeed I am. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. For this one, I want to do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at least. Will I have more content than that? Yes. If I film everything, I will have much more content than that. It will be readily, okay, I have another one, readily available to me to be able to do all of those videos and more. So I might do more than that. I might be able to. That might be fine. Oh, also on Sunday because I post on Sunday as well. So I'm just going to put this one on Sunday. It doesn't match, but that's okay. All right. So that's going to be my tentative hopeful schedule, okay? Then this one is going to be at least two days a week because these are harder videos to come by, okay? So I'm going to try to do this one on, I have a video every day, so I'm going to try to do these on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's what I'm going to try. Do I think I can do it? I don't know. I really don't. I do not know. Like I said, sometimes this channel can be hard to film with because I've got to do create with me's. I've got to do stuff like that. And But I really want to try to post more on this channel. I would like to get this to three videos a week. That's my goal. Okay. So, there we go for that. Um, I have a couple of boxes left over. I have some boxes over here. I've got some flags. That's a good thing got some flags over here. I've got these check boxes that I'll probably just save these checklists. And then I've got little odds and ends that I can still use. Look, so many things. So many things. Okay. So that's going to be this one. Okay. I do also want to post twice a week and I suck at it. Okay. I really want to do three times a week. So we're just going to go for the dang thing. This is my social media um, line, I don't know, column, sideways column. And I really want to post at least three days a week on here. Do I think I will? Um, probably not, but it's, it's a nice thought, okay? And then for this, this is household. So this is when I want to film my speed cleaning video because this is my cleaning day so I want to put that and then I'm just going to put day off sticker here because I'm not, I'm not so good. what not. okay I have no idea what he was saying so Tristan's Oh, Killian, Tristan is for some reason checking the mail. That scared the crap out of me because he was running toward the mailbox and I thought something was wrong. So it just scared me half to death. Okay, I had to go check on them. So this is, let me see if I can write this because I have not yet learned how to write it beforehand. So, you know. Plan to Chaos, House of Johnsons. Because I didn't explain that either. <laughs> So, and then this one is creative chaos. Okay, this is household. And this is um, social media. Yikes. This is the one that's hard. You do. Ugh. Okay, so that is what it's looking like. This is the preemptive pre-planning stage. And so hopefully this will all work out and I can show you after the pen. I have been doing this week. This is only, today's only Monday. So I'm working on Monday as you can see. And so this is the pre-planning for next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.